Hey, Damien, how you doing? Good. How about you? Doing very well. So uh, in the in the FAMU game, um, there in the first half, there weren't a lot of explosive running plays, but then that changed very quickly in the second half, including a 33-yard touchdown by yourself uh, by you. So what, what what was the difference in that second half, and maybe what was said at halftime, and how did the offensive line respond? Um, just I guess everybody kind of seen it in the first half. We came out kind of sluggish, you know, kind of hit a wall, but. Um, yeah, I mean, halftime, you know, we know what we had to do. We went in there. It was kind of quiet. Everybody, like, not expecting that because, you know, we know we're better than that. So we just, you know, went into halftime, came out second half, just with a different mindset, like, you know, going out there, everybody trying to execute and do their job the way it was supposed to happen. But, yeah, um, just this week, you know, new opponent, new week to go 1-0. It's just what we're focused on. Our next question comes from Jordan McPherson of the Miami Herald. Jordan? Yeah. Hey there, Damian. Now that you're two games into your Miami career, just how do you feel you're settling in? How do you, especially into your role? And then also the one-two punch between you and Mark, how do you feel like that's been playing out? Uh, I feel like, I mean, playing as good as everybody's seen it. I mean, just keeping everybody fresh, you know, we got a long season. So just continue to feed off each other's energy and make an impact on a game. Um, uh, I feel like the team's coming together good, you know, just getting reps with each other, more practice, and just going out there trying to execute. Like I said before, just whoever exec- whatever team executes the most is going to win. That's all it's about. Next, we'll go to Adam Lichtenstein of the Sun Sentinel. Adam? Hey, Damian. How's it going? Good. How about you? Pretty good. Um, so, you you know, you guys, play, when you were at Oregon State last year, you played Washington State, saw Cam Ward from uh, the other side of, of things. Now that you've had a chance to play with him as a teammate for a couple games, just um, what what have been some of the biggest things you've noticed about the way he he leads a huddle, the way he plays, or, or anything like that? Uh, I mean, just every day, same person, consistent. You know, he wants to come out and just be as detailed as he can and make everybody else detailed as they can, just to execute and play faster. I mean, we want to play as fast as we can without having to think and just doing our job, you know, creating big plays or just chunk plays at a time, just working down the field. We just want to execute every play. Every play is its own play, so just – feel like as for Cam, he just making sure we're detailed and knowing what we're doing so we can all go out and do our job, be at the right spot. And, and what does it say to, you know, the other guys on the team? You see him, you know, scrambling for a touchdown, diving head first for the end zone. When you guys are up like 35 points, I think at that point, like what does that what does that say to the other guys on the team? Uh, Just I mean, just how much of a competitor he is, how much of competitive this team is. I mean, we go out, go at each other every day, practice like we hate each other, but love each other at, off the field. I mean. It's how we get better. It's how we uh, prepare for each week. Just like I said, starting to go one and zero every week. New chance to win and just continue what we got going. Our next question comes from Matt Shadella, Kane Sport. Matt, go ahead. Yeah, hey Damien. <laughs> um, obviously, you know the offense has been doing really, really well. Um, do you think there's still more that the offense can show, or do you think like it's pretty close to hitting on all cylinders already at this early point in the season? No, I mean, we got a long season. We got plenty of games to get better and just I mean, plenty of practices to get better. I mean, we don't want to, you know, stay where we're at. We always want to continue to get better 1% every day. But it's just what we're what we're built to do. I mean, this offense can be as explosive as can be and just as detailed as we got to be. We just have to be detailed and execute. That's really what it comes down to. Like, sorry to keep saying it, but execution is just what wins the game. Um, it's what we pray is just execute, doing our job, and we're going to win. We'll do a few more for Damien. Next, we'll go to Marcus Benjamin at Canes County. Marcus? Hey, Damien, how you going? Good. How about yourself? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, just wanted to ask about Jordan Lyle. Uh, he's been getting uh, a couple of snaps uh, in both games uh, so far. Uh, just kind of what have you seen from him as a freshman and what, what has kind of impressed you uh, from from Jordan Lyle? Uh, just how I mean, as a freshman, everybody kind of sees he's kind of, you know, a bigger freshman, just the way he's built, but just how creative he is, just how he tries to understand everything, just soak all the knowledge he can just to be better and more detailed. I mean, he's a young guy. Of course, he's a freshman, but yeah, he's, he looks good just running the ball. He's a natural runner, but as long as he just stays down the path he is and just trying to get better every day, he's, he's going to be great. We'll go back to Jordan McPherson of the Miami Herald. Jordan? Hey, Damian, a similar question to what Marcus just asked, but about uh, Chris Johnson, just your initial impressions of what you've seen from him, another young guy who seems like they're – Seems like you guys are trying to get involved in the offense. Yeah, I mean, we we got depth, really. We got depth everywhere, ones, twos, threes. So, you know, we just want to keep everybody fresh, keep everybody playing, and just, yeah, I mean, everybody in the running back room, like, personally, everybody in the running back room, you know, everybody can play. Everybody can see we all got our own, like, game. Um, Just how it goes into the game plan and just how it plays out. We just got to execute, and 
everybody in the room just feeding off each other's energy. Like I said, we just want to impact the game whenever whenever each one of us is in and just be happy for the other that the other made a play. So, yeah. Awesome, Damian. We appreciate your time and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks, Darren. Appreciate it.